Hi, I'm Sarah with McIntyre and Cowan Remax, and today I am here with buyer's agent Michelle Hersovsky for today's episode of Mac Facts. Mac Facts. Michelle, what made you decide to become an agent? Well, in my past, I was working in the hotel business for about 18 years, really loved the customer service aspect of it, but was definitely looking for a change and wanting to do something different. My husband and I started flipping houses on the side, and I had a lot of interactions with real estate agents and finding the right house for us and then selling them, and I had the bright idea looking at my husband of, hey, this is something I'd really like to try and maybe try being an agent. Great. What do potential real estate investors need to know before they begin to look at property? I think the best thing that they need to know is kind of like know their money. They need to understand what they're going to be putting into the house. Um, if you're flipping a house, for instance, you're going to want to get bids and understand what the costs are going to be and making sure that that makes sense. So you're getting the right purchase price on the house, having enough money for the repairs, and then also getting the return on the investment that you're expecting. Um, I think is probably one of your biggest things that you can do is just making sure you know where all the dollar signs are coming from. Absolutely. Why should an experienced investment buyer use a buyer's agent? Um, I think buyer's agents are extremely helpful. Not only are we going to negotiate on your behalf and have your best interest in heart, but we can also, from an investment point, kind of do a whole competitive analysis before the flip, after the flip, mm -hmm. making sure you're investing in the right property and you're not over-investing in an area. Um, and you have realistic expectations for what you're going to sell the house for after you're finished with it. Well, thank you again, Michelle, for taking the time to talk with us today. And this was this week's episode of Mac Facts. Mac Facts.